It's Team Southampton versus Forza Solent from Romsey in the Hampshire Volleyball Grand Prix. The championship is in sight and so is the sport's future. Five teams from across the region all play each other once. Today is the last of four match days where players from 15 to 45 compete at a level one up from the local league. One proud organiser and ex-England pro hopes the girls here progress to the national leagues. I thought today was very, very good. I really enjoyed it. I think uh, from the Grand Prix that we've run in the past, this was a better standard. I thought the attitude was really good amongst all the girls. Um, they played with a smile on their faces. And then, you know, if I looked at just pure decibels, the decibel level went up today. So that was quite good from that point of view. And the volume certainly went up when Team Southampton narrowly clinched the championship after a one-all draw with Forza Solent. Keeping their eyes on the prize was key to Team Southampton's success. So we came in today on top, so we, we came in with a, a motivation to win. Um, and obviously that, that spurred us through the day really. So we started off well and managed to keep that momentum going throughout the day. And obviously playing back to, four matches back to back can sometimes tie you out quite a lot. But we had that goal in mind and we, we stuck to it. Another winning player has the right attitude to move on up. Uh, feels very good. I'm very competitive, so winning is always the best. That's why we play sports. I always like to win. She has found the secret to their success too. Um, I think we're successful because we play together a lot, we practice a lot, we try to do things outside of our sport as well. So um, we're going to have a night out for one of our teammates' birthdays, so we try to just do things outside of our sport as well, to so just be a good team and then that shows on court, I think. Julia won the most valued player prize. I wasn't expecting it, I mean, because I, I, we all nominated our own MVPs from within the team, so it's quite, it's nice to have the recognition from Ashley and the, the guys in the committee that, that they think I'm a value player, so yeah, it's, it's nice, to be, it's a good feeling. So whilst Team Southampton's ambitions have been achieved, what of Ashley and his hopes for the future? I'd like the, the league to become bigger and not just have four you know, weekends where we're playing a Grand Prix, but try and, you know, maybe even double it. You know, maybe that's ambitious, you know, for next season, but that's really what I would like to be able to try and do and really just grow the sport in terms of numbers, but grow it in terms of our competitive nature. And, you know, it's an Olympic sport, so I want to see it, you know, rise in its standard and hopefully, you know, it'll permeate right the way through the whole Volleyball England structure. Key thinks schools have a role to play in volleyball's future. People are not very well known with the sport. I think from a younger age they should be more maybe in contact with the sport because I think uh, it's just not young enough people starting it because we have at our club almost no juniors. Like the juniors, we have no, no like move, people moving up. So I think they should like get more out there so like younger people start playing as well. And the next generation of volleyball players can get a taste for the sport on Saturday the 25th of March at Bayhouse School Gosport. This is John Wilson for That Solent.